A helpless single mother who had reached breaking point because of her nine-year-old son's violent outbursts was shocked to learn that his behavior was down to feeling constantly scared and threatened. Mother of four Debbie, 36, from Stoke-on-Trent, was effectively trapped in her own home because of Joe's uncontrollable rages where he would physically lash out at her, slapping, punching and kicking her. At the end of her tether, Debbie who appeared in Channel 5's Violent Child, desperate parents sought help from the show's child psychologist Laverne Antrobus. Debbie admitted she was terrified of her son who had wielded knives at her, threatened her with a hammer, and even said he wanted her dead during an argument over a broken fox. After spending time monitoring Joe in his home environment before diagnosing hypervigilance, which meant he sees terror and threat absolutely everywhere. After discussing Joe's childhood Laverne revealed how the youngster may have developed anxiety when his baby brother Harvey was born prematurely. Debbie was at the end of her tether with her second youngest son, football mad Joe, who had recently been diagnosed with ADHD, attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. He had taken over the family home which he shares with siblings Sarah Jane, 16, Vinnie, 13, and four-year-old Harvey, who all get drawn into the violence. His desperate mother called her out-of-controlled son, who was excluded from mainstream school and now attended one for children with behavioral problems, the dictator of the household. It is what I want I will get, and if you don't let him have it then you're going to be spat at, you're going to be sworn at, you're going to be punched, you're going to be kicked. Not long back Joseph threw a boot at me, I thought it had broken my jaw, she told Laverne in the program. How can my child who loves his mum hurt me in this way he's wielding knives at me, he's gone at me with a hammer, he's getting bigger, he's getting stronger. One day he's going to hit me, and I might not come back from that, she said. But Debbie explained to Laverne that her own turbulent childhood and growing up with an angry father makes her terrified that her own son will become just like him. After observing his actions, Laverne soon realized that the youngster was anxious about leaving the house, she asked Debbie to explain if there was any trauma in his past that would make him so vigilant. The single mother was emotional as she recalled her fourth pregnancy with her son Harvey and how she became ill after he was born by emergency C-section. I just remember I didn't really see him, they took him away and took pictures. He was blue, and I just said he's going to die, and they couldn't tell me. Joseph would ask questions like how big is he today mummy, has he still got the tubes mummy, can he breathe mummy. She added the day that they were told Harvey was out of his incubator, Joseph was delighted to go and see him, but it wasn't the outcome they were hoping for. We took him, but when we got there, Harvey was back in an incubator. Laverne explained that this particular milestone for Joe, when he was just for himself, helped demonstrate his state of mind.
At a really early moment in his life, when he would have been unsure about what's going on, he felt incredibly unsafe. I think that's what we're seeing now. The child psychologist was concerned that every time Debbie and her children wanted to leave the house, Joe was trapping them inside because of his outbursts, when it is just his own fears and anxiety stopping him. Joe's hypervigilance explains why he's violent when faced with leaving the house. He's using his anger to mask his fear so, what we need to do is reassure him," Laverne said. Whenever the family would try and leave the house, Joe would become a ball of anger, swearing and hitting out at his mother for no clear reason. At one point when Joe had begged her to sort out his broken box games console he hit her on the leg in blind fury. I'm sick of hearing this now, I'm sick of hearing about this box, enough is enough. You have broken me, and I have had enough, she said. He bit back, okay, just get off me. I don't want to be near her. I just want her killed. I want someone to kill her. I want someone to kill her. Using techniques like reassuring Joe and encouraging him that the situations he was in were safe, Debbie was able to persuade her son to enjoy a game of football despite initially putting up a battle. Laverne also provided the family with cards showing different kinds of emotions to help Joe better understand his own feelings. After three months of managing his temper and outbursts, Debbie and her family understood that Joe was using his aggression to mask his hypervigilance and she can't remember the last time he was violent. A thrill Debbie said of Joe's transformation, in such a short space of time, I never dreamt that I would be where I am now. I'm no longer a punch bag, I'm a mum that just feels amazing. My violent child returns next Wednesday on Channel 5 at 9 pm.